Hi friends, welcome back to Ami Tutorials. In this lesson, we will cover a brief introduction to JavaScript. With its introduction, we will try to understand how JavaScript runs from a browser. And finally, we will run a Hello World snippet from a web browser. JavaScript is a high-level, weakly typed, multi-paradigm, dynamic programming language. By high-level language, it means the low-level details of the system such as memory management or allocation is abstracted from the programmer. Paradigm means the style in which we write the program. JavaScript is a multi-paradigm language because it supports different programming styles such as functional, object-oriented and imperative styles etc. JavaScript is a dynamic programming language. Dynamic programming means the behaviors that commonly performed at compile time by the static languages can be done at runtime itself. These behaviors include adding new code to the program or extending an object. These behaviors generally occurs during compile time in static languages. But in JavaScript, it occurs dynamically at runtime. JavaScript is one of the most popular language in use today. This is because it can run in web browsers, servers and desktop applications. Historically, JavaScript used to run only in web browsers. But modern JavaScript can also be run on desktop apps with the help of JavaScript desktop app frameworks such as Electron.js, NWJS, etc. The desktop applications such as Atom, VS Code, Postman are written in JavaScript using the Electron.js framework. JavaScript also can be run on servers with the help of JavaScript runtime environments such as Node.js, Dino.js, etc. One common misconception people have is that JavaScript is related to the Java programming language. Actually, JavaScript has nothing to do with the Java programming language. When JS was initially created in 1995, there was a hype around the Java programming language. So the creators of JS from Netscape Corporation named it as JavaScript as a marketing strategy to gain acceptance in the area. JavaScript was designed by Brendan Eich in the year 1995 while working for Netscape Corporation. The initial version of the language was called Mocha. It was renamed to LiveScript later on and finally it was called as JavaScript in the same year. While working with JavaScript, you may encounter a term called ECMAScript. ECMAScript is nothing but a JavaScript standard to ensure the interoperability of JavaScript in various browsers. So far, 11 editions of ECMAScript has been published, the latest of which is published on June 2020. ECMAScript is standardized by an industry association named ECMA International, which is a consortium of members from various organizations across the world. We all know that JavaScript can be run from a web browser such as Chrome or Edge, but how does it work from a browser? Every browser we use is made up of various components such as the rendering engine, browser engine, etc. There comes a component named JavaScript engine along with the other components. The purpose of the JavaScript engine is to compile the JavaScript code that is understandable by the processor. The JavaScript engine is responsible for running the JavaScript code from your browser. Each browser's vendor develop and use their specific JavaScript engine to process JavaScript code. For example, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge uses the V8 engine. Mozilla Firefox uses the SpiderMonkey engine and Apple uses JavaScript code as the JavaScript engine for their Safari browser. Let's now see how to run JavaScript from a browser. I am going to use the Google Chrome browser as it's the browser of my choice. You are free to use any browser since most of the functionality will be same across all browsers. Let's now run a sample JavaScript from Chrome. Right click on the browser and select inspect. The Chrome DevTools will be displayed as given. In certain cases, the DevTools will be displayed on the right hand side of the browser as given here. To bring the DevTools to the bottom of the browser, click on the three dots and click on Dock to Bottom as highlighted in the screen. The DevTools will then be docked to the bottom of the screen as given. Click on the Console tab as highlighted here to open the console area where you can start typing your JavaScript code. Now, in the console, type the code snippet console.log of hello world. The console.log is a function within the JavaScript that will display the value provided to it to the console. Once the command is typed, press enter to execute the code. Once enter is pressed, the output will be displayed on the screen as highlighted. 
This is how you execute a JavaScript code snippet directly from a browser. That ends our lesson on getting started with JavaScript and how to run JavaScript from a browser. In next lesson, we will see how to run JavaScript from a HTML page. Stay tuned and please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.